Holy moly donut shop. Chat, we just lost a pretty critical level. That was the 544 level. I've been talking to you guys about the 544 level. It was uh, around a fib level. Also, you guys remember it was a sell zone. And clearing that sell zone led to new all-time highs. We retested 544 as, to, as support. Trying to confirm the breakout that we had back in June 17th. And as you guys can see today, <laughs> all that bounce we had Friday was a dead cat bounce. Ultimately led to a breakdown. Holy moly. It's very important. This is very important. Now, the last thing we talked about in my last video, hopefully you guys watched it, was the five daily moving average, guys. You guys, if you hopefully you guys recall, I mentioned how when the, the market is in a strong uptrend, it spends a lot of its time above the five daily moving average, which it did since May 31st. But when it's on a strong downtrend, it spends a lot of time below the five day moving average, treating it like a... Uh, I'll resist them trying to give you guys another example you guys see here when it's on a strong down move it spends a lot of time below the five daily moving average you guys see that and when it's on an up move it spends time above the five daily moving average so we do it based on the tendencies of the market when it comes to um you know i guess you could say predicting them you know predicting i don't like to predict but you know if you're gonna predict try to predict it based on uh valuable information and for me as a sheep the only valuable information is the price action and we lost that five daily moving average last friday today there was a bit of follow through definitely show follow through giving us a pullback last friday today we close even lower breaking down that 544 level okay so it's quite simple for me below 544 i am bearish and favoring a pullback down to 540 or lower okay you still got that gap fill around 536 ish all right around there Okay, and it's very possible as long as we stay below 544 and below the 5 daily moving average. Okay, as long as below. The only way I'll get bullish is if we recapture 544. That would be a good start for the bulls and get back above the 5 daily moving average, which would be recapturing 546. And 546 also happened to be a critical fib level, a macro level fib level. All right, guys, so this plan for SPY is quite simple. Bears below 544, bullish above 544 that's the equilibrium level triple q you guys remember i talked about the evening star pattern how we got a, a variation of it and it's a bearish huh that aids well didn't it and i mentioned to everybody if we lose that 478 level to get bearish that aids well too i gave it you guys for free okay you got you want more cool analysis from uncle definitely join my discord anyways so what's the next resistance level resistance level well, is that 476 and 478? As long as above 470, uh, uh, below, as long as below 478, the breakdown stays intact. And if the breakdown stays intact, I would stay bearish on triple Q. Now, bearish follow through would be to break down more support levels, which is at 474, 471.3, and 469.2. Those are the next support. And if they fail, we are bearish. Could get a little bounce. All right, maybe a bounce, a little dead cat bounce up to 478. If we recapture 478, it's not a dead cat bounce. I would trust that and long. But overall, bears below 478. All right, guys. Uh, Tesla's just overall chopping still. It tried to break out, but it's overall chopping still. Uh, you know, to be bearish, I need to see it break down once again. One, um, 182.5, 181, and 179.6. That's the only way I'll get bearish at this point. And I need a daily chart close above. 184 and 185.6 point uh, two excuse me 185.2 otherwise we're still in consolidation mode and this kind of pains me to talk about tesla so hopefully we we break the chop range and get a decent move soon nvda it doesn't pain me to talk about this stock beautiful uh you guys see this orange line here let me change it to uh pink uh yeah pink okay you know it was a buy zone you guys see multiple tests off of support bounces 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 and look at retested that's around 118 and uh, we close right around that level okay so for me to trust the bounce of 118 120.5 must recapture 120.5 recapture we get like a relief rally okay because this was a big drop okay big drop we had in the last three trading days for nvda if it wants a relief rally 120.4 must recapture to put the higher targets in play otherwise if we lose 118 then more downside incoming it's gonna be nasty for the bulls Apple, 
I need to see it lose 208. I need a daily chart close below 208. We had that close last week. Today, though, we closed right at 218.14. I wouldn't really consider that a, a recapture. Not a convincing one, at least. But let's see what happens tomorrow. Above 208 is bullish. Below 208, we resume back to being bearish, okay? Uh, if we get above 208, then 209.5. 211, 213 must be captured for me to favor a bottom. It's in. Otherwise, we drop back below 208. I'm going to get bearish on Apple. AMD, uh, still overall consolidating. Okay. Uh, pretty decent size chop range it has here. 155.5 or 167. Anything in between is all noise to me. Immediate resistance as of right now is at 161.5 and 163 if those levels clear i would favor a retest of 167 above that a bottom is in uh support is at uh 160 and 158 158 fails we can go retest the, the support up the chop at 155.5 and below 155.5 i would definitely be fair biased amazon who has a lot of selling pressure that we had today Follow through for tomorrow, break down 184.7, I would definitely be bearish, okay? If this is a bounce, if we're going to get a bounce, then guess what? We got to clear 186.5. If it does, 188 and 190 is in play. And above 190, new all-time highs. Google has an, uh, well, inside candle setup. It's chopping right now. It did close at new all-time highs, but it's chopping. Uh, the setup is, uh, well, 178 to 182.5 is a chop range, so... If it wants new all-time high, got to clear 182.5 to give us that. And uh, if it wants any real serious downside, pullback, it's got to break down 178. All right, 180 and 178. Break down, get bearish. Netflix, bear. Ooh, look at that. Broke down multiple levels. Beautiful move to the downside. Close, it's around 669 as of writing this. Okay, so next critical support level that I have is at 667.5, 666, and 664, okay? Below 664, I would favor a deeper pullback to the downside, okay? We're going to get a relief rally or a relief bounce to 671 and 673. Must recapture to put 676 or higher in play. Please add these levels to your charts. Uh, wow, Bitcoin. I mentioned to everybody, if we lose 63.1K, get bearish. And, uh, well, that's aged pretty well. We're also breaking down 60.5K as well. As long as below, holy moly, 57.5K and 56.5K are all in play. All right. I can't favor some type of bottom is in unless we recapture some lost levels starting with 60.5K and 63.1K. All right. You guys know this. Uh, 544.3 is the big dark pool level. Had a good amount of premiums going at about two over two billion. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount. And the rest was at 542.6. Alright, billions in premium. Add those levels to your charts. Dark pool level. That's hmm. Looking bearish for spy on the option flows. Bullish for triple Q though. NVDA is bullish. Tesla's bullish. Apple's bullish. Who is someone buying the dip or something? AMD is bullish. Amazon is bullish. Google is bullish. Uh, Netflix. Nothing for Netflix and Beetle. Sec Beetle. Beetle's bullish. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found value in this video. Peace.